Hi, my name is David Hills. I'm Senior Director at Art Workplace Risk. We're working to develop a series of short, informative videos on the key elements of the new building safety regime, the Building Safety Act and associated legislation. In this video, I'll be focusing on the new requirements regarding the checking and inspection of lifts and firefighting equipment. Under the Fire Safety England regulations of 2022, which comes into force on the 23rd of January 2023, responsible persons must undertake a series of new inspections and new checks on essential fire fighting equipment, including lifts. Now, under the new regime, responsible persons are required to undertake and record monthly checks of all lifts within the building that are designed, installed and maintained to be used by firefighting personnel as well as checking that the mechanisms which allow the firefighters to take control of the lifts are operational. Monthly checks are also required on all evacuation lifts. These checks are over and above the statutory and non-statutory service, maintenance and examination checks made on such equipment. In addition to the checks on the lift systems, monthly checks are also required to be undertaken on essential firefighting equipment. Now the regulations define what essential firefighting equipment is, and it includes both equipment provided in the building to fight fires, as well as other important fire safety features and facilities. The regulations provide a clear list of what the responsible person will be required to do. And these include, for example, ensuring that the following are operational. Inlets and outlets for rising mains, smoke control systems, suppression systems, fire detection and fire alarm systems, including any detection systems linked to other ancillary equipment such as smoke control systems, evacuation alert systems and automatic door release systems. Now responsible persons will also be expected to check any firefighting shafts and other fire safety equipment, such as communication systems, linking fire alarm systems to remote monitoring stations and the like. Now this requirement applies to all multi-occupied residential buildings, which have two or more sets of domestic premises within them and that are over 18 meters in height. And it's been introduced to ensure that essential access and firefighting equipment, which will be used by firefighting personnel are fully operational and that information on their operational status is known by the fire and rescue service. So in addition to the checks being made, responsible persons are also required under the regulations to take all necessary steps to fix and report any damage they discover to the fire and rescue services. Responsible persons will not have to inform their local fire and rescue service immediately regarding a relevant fault if they believe that that can be resolved within a 24 hour period. If the issue though cannot be resolved in that 24 hours, then they must report it to the fire and rescue service as soon as practicable. The responsible person is also required to arrange for the issue to be fixed and then report that back to the fire and rescue service once it's been resolved. Responsible persons should consider the impact of the, any faults they find on general fire safety management and inform the fire and rescue service of that impact. So for example, responsible persons should consider whether a fault would require an update to be made to the building's fire risk assessment and then act accordingly to ensure that they are compliant with their duties under the fire safety order. Now for the avoidance of doubt, it is not the intention of these regulations to require responsible persons to engage specialists to complete these checks, as effectively these checks are essentially visual and they are not full engineering inspections or examinations. Therefore, responsible persons can complete these themselves. Our tip would be to ensure that this process is included within your building safety management system. Some management systems such as CUDA allow you to set automated workflows to ensure that the checks are undertaken 
and that all required actions and tasks can be monitored, controlled, and very importantly, when necessary, reported. Again, just to reiterate, this requirement comes into force on the 23rd of January, 2023. Thank you for listening. If you'd like more information or see how ARC's Building Safety Assurance Service makes it easier to manage risk compliance and safety at your building, then you can contact us using the details provided. Thank you.